All right, so I come to Ratney today, and a guy called me last night about my add-on Kijiji. Look at these tires. Friggin' uh, Tiger Paws winter tires. We're getting a big, dirty snowstorm. I told him 100 bucks for the tires, and uh, give me 20 bucks a piece to install them. And he's humming and hawing and this and that. Like 160 bucks, four tires installed, snow tires ready to go on your piece of crap van. He's like humming and hawing, friggin' just, you know, splits or whatever, but. It's like, dude, you want me to freaking sell your tires for a hundred bucks and install them for nothing? That doesn't make much sense, does it? Oh, well, you know, I'll we'll give you 140. No, nah, man, 95 bucks a pair. Get out. But anyway, we got uh, got old wheelie out. Frig yeah. Mike just dinked her. You dinked her, bud. You, you, you dinked her. But it's better off I broke it now instead of you breaking it later. Yeah, yeah. But now at least there should be uh Well, now we can sort of line it up a little better. Eh? I think it was a little tight in that area anyway, but... Whatever, you know, friggin' uh, she wouldn't start, eh? She'd been sitting a while, so I had to take the football off there and just dump the grit out of her and stuck her back on there. She fired right up, no problem, no problem. Stuff like that. Yeah, so... Tuesday's turning out like a Monday, eh? Friggin' uh, well, I guess not. Friggin' we were coming here anyway. It's not like we made a trip out of our way to sell that guy tires, but you know, it's like holy shit, dude! Like you friggin' gotta be kidding me. You want me to friggin'? Everybody wants everything for free. Man. Yeah, everybody wants everything for free. Each one's for my Malibu. There, man, was ninety-five bucks minimum for just two front ones. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I told him. I says, you know, if it was Buddy you were talking to, friggin' it'd be ninety-five a pair. But I'm selling you a four for a hundred bucks, and installing them for twenty a piece. You know, whether you buy them for me and have them installed somewhere else or what, you're still going to have to pay somebody to do it, bud. Like, grow a friggin' antler in your skull. Like, your appliance dinked? What? What? Let me know. If your appliance is dinked, you know, I'll feel bad for you. And maybe, you know what I mean? Heat sealer and friggin' to fucking spit oh, the yeah. guy around it. You know? Put them on yourself, bud. Oh wait, you don't have a tire machine and bead sealer and friggin' valve stems and this and that and the rest of the shit? Oh, I apologize. I apologize. Uh, that's why you come to Retney, bruh, right? Everything's just free. Yeah, son of a bitch. Well, we're dinked over. Every time we turn around, we're finding something else that was in the bin with the red drill that was stolen, full out, absolutely friggin' ripped us off big time. Uh, but uh, now we're missing uh, all our small links. And uh, we found out uh, a couple, few, maybe a week ago, that the uh, racing clutch that got Mike up to 81 kilometers an hour on his rig there uh, is missing too. So, uh, you know, every day we're finding, uh, finding out something else that was in the gray, uh, gray tote bin thing with the red drill and all the, uh, you know, the uh, spin of antlers. But uh, yeah, so anyways, I just wanted to show you. I pulled the belt off there. I got, uh, this one here was the one that was on it. This one was one that I replaced before, but it's not as wore out as, uh, as this one. So I'm gonna just put the old blade on. Uh, belt on there we got a, a new one somewhere but of course it's lost but you can see uh clearly the uh shiny one is the new one but you can see it's equal at that end and that's chain it's stretched you know good freaking quarter inch anyways but uh yeah so replace that she was pretty baggy and she was skipping over the uh the son of a bitch there i'm gonna have to do something about my steering uh this was uh sort of just to cobble it together enough to get it going when I first built it. Uh, but I ended up, uh, you know, being lazy and not doing something about it. And it keeps breaking, like the whole, really, really tippy, eh? So it makes it hard to stay onto it too, because you don't have the steering wheel to sort of lean against or whatever, but uh, makes makes the landings a little, you know, and the bailouts too, because this, this'll just fold forward and let you, give you room to bail out, right? But I had a guy asking me about the steering on these things. So, I mean, it's, as basic as she comes, boys, you know, you got a little son of a bitch an adjustable threaded antler with a little pin on it right there. Like, I mean, this is just off of the front end of a old lawn tractor or whatever, but, you know, she's friggin' dick, but Mike's uh, the whole, whole frame is actually an old rear engine riding lawnmower frame. You just modified it a little bit, stuff like that. But again, the steering's just cocked, like, you know, this one's goes around the underside there if you uh you, know, you can see see your freaking pivoticulating and whatnot but we got the up upgraded ball joints eh? 
So it's, you know, it was like a dodge, but now it's, it's a little better. But uh, you can see, like, we had some alignment issues, so there's some... Holy crap, ever look at that. That looks like it's dinked. Looks like it might be friggin' bulking. Oh, that's Son of a bitch. Anyways, friggin', uh, yeah, that's the rig there. Uh, something's dinked or bent or something in this one. Uh, now. She, don't, she don't roll like she used to. Anyway, it's way of the road. Ride her for five minutes, spend a week fixing it. Anyways, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. oh, are you drinking Bam Jordans? Oh, is it good? That's better than other freaking Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, Gingy uh, turned out to be useful uh, for once. Uh, got us, uh, got her uh, rig in the in the bay here. We get her fixed up and stuff. Get the old repairs undergo. Got some uh, some damage, damage rusty spots to uh, fix up, and uh, we'll see how she turns out. Uh, whether I put her on big dirty or I uh, sell it. So yeah, cheer check. Well, one problem I'm seeing with this right away is uh, you can see, you know, the tire's there and the gas door's right in front of the tire, but on Big Dirty, friggin' the gas door's right behind a box. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Once the box gets off there, you can sort of get some new hoses and route it sort of wherever, you know what I mean? It's, should, uh, should be able to anyway, but. You know, I'll have to see how she goes or whatever. I haven't decided 100% if I'm going to put her on Big Dirty. I mean, I'd like to. Friggin' if it'll friggin' go on there without too much grief, I'd like to. And then I don't, you know, kick the shit out of this box. I can keep it, you know, in storage there and keep it good. And you can always just take it off and put the, put the original box back on later. But, uh, yeah. Friggin' son of a bitch. One thing after another. All right. So here's another project we're going to have on the go. I'm going to make a wood stove. It's project uh, Keep Warm. So uh, this is a 4 feet by 18 inch tank. So I need a bigger one. This is a 40 gallon. 40 gallon. So yeah, this is going to be the inner tank. So I need to get like a 60 gallon, I think. As long as it's 4 feet high, you know, it should be relatively bigger around so that this tank will fit inside the other tank this will be like the burning chamber and then there'll be like an airspace around that I can force uh, air through from with a fan from the top and forcing it out the bottom through a couple antlers one aiming at breathing antler Mike and one aiming at me like yeah but uh, you know and I'll have to put a baffle in there so I'll need like a piece of seven inch steel to come out the side uh, to put the chimney son of a bitch on and then I was thinking like a four inch in antler and drilling a hole right in the concrete wall Obviously, I'm talking about in the garage behind the wood stove and uh, Drawing air straight in from outside so that you're not sucking air from you know because that's a lot of the problem They eh? were burning all kinds of wood and all it's doing is, is It needs a lot of oxygen to burn so it's sucking uh, Sucking air in from every crack and crevice in the non-insulated garage, so it just makes it even more colder. The bigger fire you get going, the colder the son of a bitch gets in there. But, anyways, we'll uh, you know hopefully uh, if you combust the outside air, it will uh, not suck from the inside. I apologize, but yeah, so we're gonna get that under go there. Check this out. Ray's supposed to be coming back. Hey, you see that? That's friggin'. This is the landing here. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna get a big uh, you know so you can come up and then the confidence antler will hit and good nice landing right be awesome that confidence antler is pretty sweet but you know and then he can can only get so much speed coming from this way too eh there's you know sort of thing but anyways friggin uh, yeah that's the goings on son of a bitch look at this place just a gas tank mountain yeah cheat it. Friggin' uh, yeah, somebody stepped all over my Piscasso. Apparently I'm a goof counterfeiting the Piscassos. And Mike's not very happy with me at all. I am uh, wrecking his, his program. The friggin' uh, counterfeit Piscassos, I guess. Counterfeit, yeah. And that's not the real deal. You can tell. You, you can tell all days. Anyways, friggin' uh, yeah, choo choo. Oh, don't dink her. Don't dink her, buddy. Son of a bitch. Anyways, still got this jump here. But look at that. Hey, a couple pieces of plywood. She'll be golden. 
Okay, got the friggin' ultra launch antler, and then we got the landing pad, eh? So you got can get quite a probably get 20 feet, eh? 17, 18, 20 feet, eh? Before it she lands on the ground, eh? Yeah. Well, it's gonna be friggin' awesome. Chit chat. Yeah.